Hi, it's Tim from OracleBase.com. Here's a quick run through 12 Oracle 12C data pump enhancements. The transform parameter has been extended to include disable archive logging. When enabled, this sets no logging for the segment before the import and then switches back to the original setting after the import's complete. The log time parameter allows you to prefix log entries with timestamps. This makes it easy to identify operations that take a long time. The viewers tables parameter allows you to export rows returned by a view as if it were a real table. The transform parameter can include a table compression clause. This alters the level of compression used during import. There are lots of different options, including hypercolumnar compression for Exadata and ZFS, and basic and advanced compression. Just be careful which one you pick because there are licensing implications on some of them. The transform parameter now includes a lob storage clause. This allows you to set the lob storage at import time. Secure file means store as secure file, basic file, store as basic file, default means store as the database default for lobs, and no change means use the lob characteristics that were used during the export. The compression and compression algorithm parameters can be used to determine how the dump file is compressed. This has got nothing to do with table compression, just the dump file. You can either use basic, low, medium or high. Pick one that gives you the level of compression you need without severely impacting on the performance. Datapump understands the multi-tenant architecture. Most of the time you'll be using it against a pluggable database, so it'll feel just like regular Datapump. But there are some cool things you can do which we'll mention in a few minutes. The new Unified Audit Framework allows you to audit components, including data pump. You create an audit policy and apply it to a user, and from that point onwards, any data pump operations will be audited. In previous releases, the encryption password had to be placed on the command line, so it was visible in the command history. When the encryption PWD prompt parameter is set to yes, you'll be prompted for an encryption password, and it won't be echoed to the screen. Setting the full parameter to Y and the transportable parameter to Always means you're using transportable database. This is like doing transportable table space for all table spaces in the database. That means that you no longer have to worry about cross table space dependencies and top level metadata going missing. You can also use this feature to convert 11G databases into 12C databases as well as doing cross platform moves. Datapump understands the extended data types available in 12C, such as varchar2, 32767. If the database is set up to use extended data types, Datapump will just work with them seamlessly. Lob columns with a domain index can now take advantage of the direct path load method. Thanks for watching. Check out the links in the description box if you actually want to see how to use this stuff. Like the video if you liked it and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more.